Humanity is at a pivotal moment, at a crossroads, uh, like never before. The choices that we're making next, and I mean next, will determine the future or maybe even the end of humanity. This is not exaggeration. This is really the moment that we're at. It is full of amazing potential for both ways, whether that's very destructive or very, very constructive. And we want to dive into that with you today. Now, over the years, you've probably tried different investments in stocks and mutual funds. So you know they can be quite unpredictable. But with inflation running at its highest rate for 40 years, do you want volatility and uncertainty? Being able to sleep at night knowing your investment isn't about to crash is worth its weight in gold. And speaking of gold, if you've been jumping from one investment idea to the next, a gold IRA with Noble Gold might be the thing for you. A reliable hedge against inflation just fell in our laps. With gold, you shield your gains from taxes, you keep the real value of your wealth, you own a global asset, something tangible, and you can help protect your wealth against an economic crash. So what's not to like? And this month, for every IRA above 20k, you'll get an incredible 3 ounce silver American virtue coin completely free as a thank you. Call 877-646-5347 now to find out more or visit noblegoldinvestments.com. Again, that's noblegoldinvestments.com. Hey, hey, Inspired Tribe, how's it going? It's John Nolan here and today is all about choices and looking at what is coming next and what our most important decisions, not just of our lives will be, but the decisions that we all have to make very, very soon. I wanna say the decisions should be made right now today will have an amazing effect on us, our lives, our families, our communities, but also on our generations to come. I honestly believe that we're at a crossroads, that we're at the fork in a road, and there's a few things that we can do, but we need to become very clear uh, about what we want to do, what our intentions are. As you all know, we've been talking about this a lot. Um, over the past years, decades really, we've seen a, an amazing shift in society, in the way things are done. As you can see, there's digitization of everything, and today's richest people don't necessarily own the most money, but they own the most data. And what are they doing with all that data is really the question, right? Because um, this digital data that we've been putting out since the time we've been on the internet, everything we've ever done on the internet has been tracked, profiles have been made, psychological profiles, consumer style profiles. So basically somewhere in the world, in various places, there are profiles about you, how you think, how you act, what your choices were, what you think, and uh, what you're most likely to do next. All of this already exists, but paired with that over the last two and a half years, they have gathered a massive amount of biological data and biometric data, which people have given up freely, right? Every test that you do really um, takes a genetic signal from you so that can then be paired with all of that data. And why are they doing this? We've been talking about this so much. There's this dystopian, I call it the dystopian future, and we've talked about this, the future timeline. And this dystopian timeline is simply based on a society that is very detached from the natural organic processes. It's all about creating a hybrid human robot, if you will, and that's the first stage of it where you become infused with artificial intelligence and uh, people have been putting trillions and trillions of dollars, huge organizations, the governments of the world, uh, they've been all at this for a time now and this is their timeline that they're going to roll out and through various medical treatments, so many people have already been infused with nano systems. They're already being built up in their bodies. Their natural, um, their natural ability to fend off certain things has already been decreased. Of course, the way we eat, of course, all the things that are happening in our society contribute to that. And I don't mean to sound disrespectful, but there's a large section of society in the world today that are bio robots in terms of they've been programmed. They don't realize this choice is even here. They're just going along with whatever is happening. But there's also a large section that is in the awakening process. And those people that are in the awakening process, they will have a choice to make very soon. And that choice is, will we go along with this digital everything? You become digital. You will merge with the internet really, you will merge with artificial intelligence because that's their vision. You know, Klaus Schwab and his friends have been going out 
and and spreading their crazy talk everywhere where at the end of this fourth industrial revolution there will be a merger between human biology identity digital identity everything will become one which really means you'll be infused with technology the thing is that the choice that we have to make now as organic human beings to even preserve the species might be very radical and what is this choice i believe um, there's there's two ways we can go. They kind of go hand in hand, but it's really detached. And this is what's going to happen very soon. We believe there's there's going to come a time very, very soon where we're going to have to make the choice whether we detach completely from this digital artificial world, which means stop using smartphones, stop using the internet, stop communicating in this way, and literally removing ourselves from the rest of society who is on this artificial path. The reason why we think this choice is coming up because everything that's happening in legislation everything that's happening in in this artificial world is pointing towards it that soon the internet's going to be restricted to people with a digital id you and and, and you're going to probably have your biometric data in all of that and it's all pointing towards that so i believe if we don't want to be in this sphere there's no there's no gray area here. I just don't see it right now. It's either this or that where you have to go. When you want to go the organic route, we have to become fully responsible again, which is really pure freedom, fully responsible for all of our needs, whether that's food or water or shelter or clothing, or when we go further, whether that's power. I, I, I do believe that in the more distant future, there might be an, an availability to a kind of internet that is freer and more like the original internet was but we're going to have to build these things some people are already building them but i think we need to understand that this choice is coming up and people say well you know i, I don't want to choose well i just don't see a different uh, outcome rather than having to choose the reason being also is as we walk into this um, metaverse society where everything is becoming infused with artificial in intelligence with implants um, with things literally being put into our bodies once this happens on a large scale and this has already begun to happen we are not pure humans anymore we're not real humans anymore so if you really want to preserve the species you'll have to remove yourself and you'll have to rely on uh, natural procreation um, in a natural environment between a man and a woman coming together and creating new life that's just the only way nature works and if we want to really discover who we are and what our truest potential is we're gonna have to go that route because this is going to cripple us more and more and more because the more we outsource um, certain things to technology the fewer things we have to do ourselves so when we let the technology decide for us think for us calculate for us make all these choices for us we lose the ability to make them ourselves and we become it's a devolution process we we're not evolving we're devolving we're actually going backwards which has been happening for a while for humanity anyways so that's the those are the two main choices that's the crossroads that's a fork in the road and this is not something that's 10 15 20 years away it's happening now the choices need to be made now and the people that are going down the artificial route um, th that's just what they choose some of them don't even know there's a choice but they're doing it now there's a third option and uh, this third option goes hand in hand with this organic natural life which is the idea that we can actually revolutionize society from within and that can that we are strong enough and that we are we have enough power in numbers enough power in messaging enough power in consciousness more than anything to revolutionize the system from within and to stop this artificial this technocracy trajectory where um, the takeover of technology the singularity model can actually be stopped and reversed and where we can minimize not maximize but minimize our use of technology uh, rather than maximizing it and minimizing our own use and this is uh it's it's simply a concept that uh, we would like to put out there because there are people who are trying to do that but it needs to happen on a, on a conscious level we need to be conscious of that choice and make it and when I say revolutionize, I don't talk about war. I'm talking about a spiritual revolution, a revolution of consciousness that is so contagious because when we explore um, who we really are and how wonderful we were equipped by the creator with so many wonderful things, 
and others see this without the help of technology, just by using who we really are, which is far more advanced than any technology could ever be, then there might be a chance that more and more people will jump on board and say, we don't want all this crap. We don't want robots. We don't want artificial intelligence in our lives. We don't want algorithms to make every choice. We don't want to be controlled 24-7. We don't want to be registered. We don't want to have a biometric ID. We don't want to have a digital health passport. We don't want these things. We want truth, authenticity, nature, freedom, organic. That's what we want. And that's really powerful if that could happen. What I'm saying is this choice it goes hand in hand with taking responsibility for your own lives, being a true free being, growing your own food, uh, becoming self-sufficient again in every way and stop depending on a system that's outside of your control. This is a really, really powerful in, uh, time in human history and there's simply no way around making these choices. You need to decide now, not later on, and um, accept the consequences of your decision because as soon as we really step out of it, there's no going back on and depending on certain things. It's not going to work. They're going to close this dystopian system off, right? They're going to say you either in or out. You either surrender your sovereignty over your biology and even over your soul because this is literally what this hive mind will do. will suck the consciousness out of people into um, the hive mind. This is the This is the idea behind it all. And you either in or out. And once you're in, you can't go out anymore. And you're already, you've been so manipulated in so many ways that you can't go back to the organic side anymore. It's it's very interesting. It's happening at an extremely fast pace. It can be explained in many ways. It's a vibrational thing, a frequency thing, a consciousness thing, but it's also very tangible in a 3D world. And I would um, simply encourage you to use caution by investing all of your energy in some exterior hero that you know does something that looks good on a surface but has a very different agenda there's a lot of those people out there invest your energy in yourself and your community invest it in your development invest it in your connection with the creator invest it in prayer and meditation and invest it in tangible things you do in your life like beginning to detach from this artificial society going back to nature going back to growing food there's wonderful beautiful ways to do this uh, there's wonderful beautiful books that teach this we talk about this a lot we put these things in our uh, descriptions of the videos we're very very passionate about real authentic human beings that's our path we're choosing and with that all being said we have already accepted that soon we might as inspired as this entity that we all are might uh, disappear from the internet if it goes into a metaverse style thing if it goes into um, this big shift we will not participate in that shift we will not be in any way uh, made into avatars or anything like that we've already made that choice so all of that means it's up to you whatever you want but be aware because they're not telling you what the consequences of your choices are they're just painting a really really rosy picture of something that's really dark in nature this dystopian future doesn't appear to have uh, even a little bit of light in it but they will make it look like it is that way at the end of the day do your own research come to your own conclusions uh, go within connect go to the seventh direction connect with your creator connect to your intuition and see what it tells you to do and see what you're called to do all right thank you so much for tuning in thank you for being with us we love you all and we'll be back very very soon